when I did that. I went 12, 16 hours with, with my appetite was just gone. So just be mindful that you will not have an appetite if you stack these on top of each other. And I So some of my um, research rats have requested me to make a video explaining um, the difference between tesofencine and retitutide. And for those that don't know anything about these two compounds, they are both highly effective at what they do. And what they do is help you lose weight. They go about it in two different ways. Retitutide is a triple action GLP-1. Tesofencine is a brain-driven fat loss um, accelerator. That's the difference between the two. I'm going to go into detail on how both of these pathways or mechanisms work, so bear with me. So, um, RETA basically focuses on your gut and, improve, and improves your overall metabolism. Um, Tesofencine um, speeds, up, speeds you up. It focuses on your brain. It helps you handle performing well while on a deficit. So two different pathways. One is the gut, one is the brain. So what I decided to do was to put together a chart. I'm gonna try my hardest to get through this chart in a reasonable amount of time. I don't wanna take too much of your time, but I also wanna make sure you got a clear understanding of which of these two um, compounds suit you or if you, you may want to decide to stack these compounds on top of each other for a more aggressive approach to um, losing weight. So let's get into the chart. I'm going to try my hardest to make this as quick as possible, but I also want you to have all the information that you need. So let's go. So let's get into it. So I'm going to cover the mechanisms, effect type, fat loss rate, and as far as the fat loss rates that I, that I have listed on this chart, that fat loss rates is based on research. That's not just me throwing out a number telling you how much you should expect to lose. Also, keep in mind that um, I haven't looked this up yet, but I'm almost for certain that the more obese you are, the more weight you will lose on rattle. So, um, energy and mood and ease of use. Now, as far as retitutide, um, when you hear people say retitutide is a triple action, they say it's a triple action because not only is it a GLP-1, it's also a GIP and a glucagon. Older peptides that focuses on weight loss um, are just GLPs. These peptides are um, sigma glutide and trisepatide. Those two peptides are only just GLPs. That's it. They only, they only help you lose weight by slow digestion, um, appetite suppressant, and using your carbs smarter. That's it. The reason why Retta is superior is because, like I said, it's a triple action. It's a GLP, GIP, and a glucagon. And for those that don't understand uh, what these, these additional two are, a GIP, a GIP um, helps your body use carbs smarter. Um, so it burns fat cleaner and gives you steady, steadier energy. A glucagon um, pretty much uh, tells your body to release stored fat and sugar when energy is low, keeping your metabolism from crashing during a deficit. So, so not only is it a GLP, like the older generation of, of peptides that focus on weight, loss, on, on weight loss, it's a GIP and it's also a glucagon. Um, in short, being that it's a GLP-1, a GIP, and a glucagon, when all three of these receptors are working, you will eat less, process food better, and burn more fat. This is why research shows that you can lose up to 24% of your weight um, in 48 weeks on retitutide. So... This weight loss is considered passive fat loss, 
Um, I don't recommend using Red or True Tide passively. And what I mean by passively is um, you can lose this weight without doing anything. You can take these shots, lose this weight without doing anything. But if you do that, more than likely the weight you lose isn't the weight you want to lose. And what I mean by that is your muscle mass. Um, losing your muscle when you're losing weight is the wrong way to go about this. So I wouldn't take Red or True Tide passively. I would lead an active lifestyle while taking it. And what I mean by active lifestyle, I mean resistant training, a high protein diet, cardio. Do all of those things while you are on Rudder to get the full benefits. Don't just take it and lose weight. The results aren't the results that most people want. So that's Rudder True Tide. Let's get into Tesla Fencing. So Tesla Fencing um, basically um, increases, well, first of all, it's not a peptide. It's an uptake inhibitor, a small molecule uptake inhibitor. That's what Tesla Fencing is. Um, um, it doesn't work through your gut like Rudder True Tide. It works on your brain. So it raises three powerful neurotransmitters, dopamine, um, neuroadrenaline, and your serotonin. Those three help um, help you lose weight when you are taking tesla fencing. Um, dopamine is, is your chemical drive, motivates you, increases your focus and consistency. Um, neuroadrenaline um, is your fight and flight signal, uh, boosts your alertness, focus, and raises your um, calorie burn when you are resting. Um, serotonin just balance. It smooths the mood, um, kills the cravings, and helps you stay dialed in mentally while cutting. So Tesla fencing uh, elevates all of these: dopamine, noradrenaline, and serotonin. Um, so your brain and your metabolism both light up. You get more energy, more focus, and fewer cravings without slowing down. So that's how Tesla fencing works. Um, but it's, it, this is considered active fat loss. And what I mean by active is you have to move. You have to do things to burn those calories. And Tesla fencing will help you do that more effectively. So that's the difference between the two. Tesla fencing keeps your, your brain and your metabolism switched on. You move more, think faster, perform better. It's built for people already training or cutting. Uh, Red or True Tide slows down, sl slows the system down. Great for people who overeat, deal with insulin resistant, and need some serious appetite control. They both work. They just do the opposite approach for the same goal. One turns down hunger, the other turns up your energy. So you got a pretty good idea of what to expect when you use these two compounds. Now, if you want the best of both worlds, my opinion is try one or the other or try both, but don't try them together before you stack them and see what you can tolerate. I've actually stacked Tesla fencing on top of Red True Tide and I only run two milligrams of Tesla Two Tide per week. I had a very, very hard time at eating when I did that. I went 12, 16 hours with, with my appetite was just gone. So just be mindful that you will not have an appetite if you stack these on top of each other. And I did that and I didn't like it at all. I was able to work out. I was able, I was able to run a few miles and I still didn't have an appetite when I stacked these on top of each other. So if you want the extreme, you can stack them. I advise against it, but you can stack them on top of each other if you are at the point to where you really, really, really need to get this um, get weight off of you, or you are severely obese, uh, obese, and you have an issue with overeating. So you can stack them. So um, I hope that I covered everything, and I didn't um, didn't go through everything. Um, too fast, but I didn't want to make this video too long. So 
In short, um, Red or True Tide is a triple action GLP-1. A GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon, and it works on appetite suppressant and improving your overall metabolism to help you lose weight. It acts passively, but you should also exercise and eat a high-protein diet. When you are on it, tesofensine, um, if you are a high performer, if you are cutting, if, if you don't have any issues at all with your diet, eating, and appetite, go with tesofensine. It's going to help you perform better. That's the difference between the two. I hope I covered everything. That's all I got. Please, please, if this video helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.